wasted, dude. I almost wonder if we should run up that secondary channel and just throw top water all down that edge. I don't know. No. No. Hi. Uh, well, good morning, people. Morning, morning. I love it. I love. I love everything that's going on right now. This is the greatest way to start a video because I'm not even driving my own boat. I'm here with Mr. Caleb Bell, Mr. Benjamin Nowak. And we're gonna see what we can get done. And I'll talk to you when we get where we're going. So what happens when you go to a small mountain lake with no mapping? You have to idle everywhere that you go to make sure you don't rip your prop off. And that's what we're doing this morning. At least up here. At least up here. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, uh, I'm excited to be here this morning because I am with two of my best friends in the whole entire world. One being Mr. Caleb Bell and the other being Mr. Benjamin Nowak. And, uh, Ben came down here from the great state of Michigan for a little weekend with his family and somehow ended up on the boat with us two idiots. So, uh, yeah. Lucky you. It's, it's just so much fun. We're going to see what we can get done today, though. We uh, we got a bunch of giant glide baits tied on. We got some giant topwaters tied on. We got some just everything tied on. And yeah, we're going big fish fishing today. Big spots, big largemouth, potentially a muskie or two. Hey. I want to catch one. Dude, they're fun. They're fun. They're they're mean and they'll break everything that you got in the boat, but they're fun. But... Yeah, we're here. I'm excited. Let's uh let's talk to these two these two beautiful men and see see what they got going on. So Mr. Ben. Yeah. Take your hat back off and show everybody your beautiful beautiful bald head. Yes. 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 What's up? How how are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, man. We came out and caught some fish on big base yesterday. Uh caught some on the top water, broke my personal best spot. Which should have been like four and a half, five pounds. It's three fifteen. Thanks to this dude. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. Trying to lay down some tracks right now so we can run out of here at more than five miles an hour. See, that's a smart man with a smart plan. That's a bald man with a beautiful head. <laughs> Nothing. And then you got me. And so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. And like always, you know, I'm, I'm really not that good at making YouTube videos. I just show up and point the camera at myself and say things until things make sense. And I guess they make enough sense to shut up now and go fishing. So, yeah. We'll see you guys here in a minute. It's the kitties' titties. Look here, look here. Dude, that is so much fun though, right? It is just so much fun. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there's Caleb. He's dying. Net. Good job, dude. That's a large mouth. No, that's a spot. I thought it was a large mouth. It is a large mouth. That's how pretty they are in here. Oh god, it is, ain't it? Yeah. Oh wow. Isn't that crazy? Look at his red eyes, dude. That's beautiful that is. Golly. Are those a cool looking fish? That's gorgeous, dude. Gorgeous. Wow. I mean. It's, it's, it's a different brand of yeah right? yeah it is like we, ben and i were talking about like like those that doesn't even look like that florida green largemouth yeah. is pretty but this golden look how yeah. bronze uh-huh they they shine in the sunlight gold. that's crazy dude good job man oh my god here we go god oh my god i don't think i can say enough derogatory things but... golly Digging? dude <laughs> Hey, hey, Ben, remember right that log had those two that we got too close on? Mm -hmm. Dude, he had that bait in his mouth. He got the hell of it, yeah. God bless. He scared the piss out of me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's gone, dude. He's gone. Oh. Oh. 
Did you see him try to? Did you see him push it up? Yeah. <sighs> he came out of deep, deep water, dude, and that was a big one too. I caught a lot of drum. Striper. The stripers, yeah. We saw that fish, buddy, right there on that point. You're right. Yep. Yeah, I don't. Rem I don't forget fish like that. <laughs> But I just knew it wasn't way, way out there. God, dude, that fish was big. He was on that inside turn. Right? Yep. I remember he came out from like something similar to this. Yeah. You just broke that bait in half. Oh, no. Yeah, you did. You snapped it right in half. There's the back sinking right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sucks, buddy. Oh, let's see it. Let's see it. Yep. He done did her. That's not funny. He done did her in. Yep. <laughs> Rattle trap king. Oh, I'm sure you can buzz a spinnerbait over these trees and catch a bear bait or something. So. <clears throat> you don't think so? Here we go. Here we go. Got him. Net. Is that all we Yeah. Mm -hmm. He ain't that big. Ain't that big at all. Had him hooked sideways is what happened. Okay. Cool, yeah, that was fun. Did you see how hot he come out on it? Mm-hmm. I thought he was giant because I hooked I him he sideways. I mean, the funny thing is, is what, what is that dude thinking? <laughs> like, that's hilarious. No, dude, you ain't cool. Ben, what's your assessment, buddy? Well, <clears throat> I got a piece of advice. Don't take someone else's S waiver and bomb it into a piece of wood. It doesn't turn out very well. Looks a lot like this. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> ben, uh, ben ended up breaking poor Kaleeb's S waiver. And uh, yeah, so that's what happens when you throw a 200 size S waiver into a rock. But little midday update here. Literally midday and literally an update. I got one, one squeaker on a glide bait. Caleb's got three on a floating worm. And I missed uh, three absolute giants. So yeah, that's glide bait fishing though. I mean, that's what you do. You come out here, you toss this thing around, you get your heart broken a whole bunch. You swear up and down that you'll never ever throw it again. And then for some reason you pick the dad gym thing up and you just keep on throwing it because you know the big ones want to come out and eat it. But no, for real, we got, we got a lot of time to fish. We got a whole day in front of us here. And uh, I think towards the end of the day, this kind of evening bite deal, that's kind of when for Caleb and Ben yesterday, right, that the the more bites came in the evening. And so we're just gonna keep on fishing, we're gonna keep on rolling, and we'll keep on going. And uh, hopefully you guys will stick with me and I'll actually catch a big fish on the glide bait. Hopefully. You never seen the Bassmasters where they go in behind the dock? No, but I lost a six pounder right here on this front dock post. <laughs> Bass moves. Yeah, yeah, but they live under these docks too. All right here, follow her. Look, you scared him with your bait flying through the air. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he really did. That bait, he saw that bait flying through there, scared the piss out of him. In 652 foot of water. Come here, put him in the net. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What was that? What was that? Good job, dude. Uh, how many goat ropings was that? That's uh, three goat ropings and two county fairs, and I ain't never seen shit like that right there. Ah, round the trolling motor. You said zzz, 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 zzz. Hey, they got the floating worm. Why are we throwing it to the goat? That's a good one. That's a good one. Put him in the well. Good job, dude. You wanna see how much he weighs? Here. Two and three quarter. 
Okay, we're resetting that. I'll do you a two fifteen. Two pounds fifteen ounces. Yeah. Two one five. Two pounds fifteen ounces. Oh, that's almost a three pound spot. Yeah, good job, dude. Yeah, dude. There's nothing more ferocious than a spot. I'm trying. Hey, will, you, will you lower that motor as, po as far as you possibly can? Jack it down? How do I do it? Uh, jack plate switch on the yeah. jack plate's down. It should just, I'm telling you, just trim it down as far as it'll go. Okay. It's going to make it. Okay, cool. Just make sure. Watch my motor, just to make sure. I just don't want to take a chunk of paint out of it. It's going, it's just, I just want to make sure it doesn't hit one of them beams. Just kind of hang out. I felt really good at it. <laughs> That's good. Is that not half money? And poles. Well, and poles create a lot of drag. <clears throat> Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we're free at last. With all those pros, you'd think it'd be fine. But they all just put them down. That was fun. Get out of that tree. <laughs> That's fun, man. Oh, and the floating worm. I just love the fact that we went from uh, big glide baits to floating worms. Expectations versus reality. <laughs> you said expectations. That's a good life lesson there, man. Expectations versus realities. That's fun, though. Thank you, bud. So we mixed her up just a little bit, folks. We've uh, switched up to a pink floating worm. And for you guys that have ever tried to catch a bunch of grumpy pre-spawn bass that don't want to eat nothing, the uh, the pink, what have you done to me? What have you done to me? This is all your fault, Benjamin. I didn't, there we go. But if any of you guys have ever tried to catch the grumpy pre-spawn bass that don't want to eat anything else, the old, uh, floating worm is one of the best ways to do it and ben lucked out and caught him about a dang near three pound spot mm -hmm. and so that's what we're looking for we're just going to keep on casting around the little pink worm and we're going to keep on seeing if we can get some of these grumpy pre-spawn fish to eat this thing and ask this squirrel to quit making so much noise sir no, it's it's a chipmunk because i'm not throwing over there yet there you go buddy there you go. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. You got him? Here, here. Get him out of that tree. Keep him out of that tree. Just keep him out of that tree. Good job, dude. Thank Hi. You. Ben ain't getting mini bites, but the ones he's getting are good ones. Golly. Heck yeah. Good job, dude. Hey, dude. You want to know another story? Uh. My camera's off again. Yeah, well, that's all right. I got my camera <laughs> off. That's good job, funny. dude. That's sweet. Yes. Yeah. I saw it disappear and I thought to myself, huh, is that a fish? Huh. Did it just swim underneath that? Nope, that's a bass. That's a bass. That's a pretty good one though. That's a pretty one, dude. Two and a half pounder. Yeah. Super nice. These fish are so nice. They are so pretty, man. Look at them. Look at that. Gorgeous. Awesome sauce, bro. Thanks, dude. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, 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 kill.
know another bait I hated until I found out that I caught fish was the new bow rib? Probably very similar to me like the Senko. I just fished the Senko and caught fish with me. Okay. He's <laughs> like, my eyes. Oh, it's a bubble. It's a bubble. Ding bong, bing dong, ling dong. You know what I mean? Something like that. That's all I heard. <laughs> That's all I heard. I was, I was just, I blanked him out after a while. Yeah. You know, I should have been the person to call it. She knew. That's what we were telling back that day, too. She was like, you don't need to get involved with that dude. She's like, I don't like him. He's, he's a good dude. He's just weird. There we go. It's a big, mean spot. Is that a smallmouth? No, it's a really. Get all the beds around that tree. It's a spot of lingus. Look at how this fish has hooked himself. That's interesting. It's threatening. Good stuff on there. Very nice of him. I like a good team player. Look at him. Just mean. Just These mean. Are pretty fish, though. Um, the method in which we were catching fish has changed, boys and girls. We've put the big glide baits away. And Mr. Benjamin Nowak, show him what we're throwing on here, buddy. Oh, man, I almost had one. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Come here. <laughs> Come here with what we got. What we got. Where's it at? This. This is a weightless floating pink worm. Yeah. It's uh it's something. It's something. But for you guys that have ever done a little pre-spawn fishing, you know that a methylade and a pink worm can be one of the best tools to catch them with. And so that's what we've tied on. And Ben has put a couple quality fish in the boat. Caleb has lost a couple quality fish and and put a bunch of tiny fish in the boat and I've just been standing back here just you know doing my thing catching a bunch of little ones and we're just kind of looking for some biggins that's what we're doing we're just looking for some biggins yeah so we're gonna stay after this see if we can put some biggins into the boat and just uh, enjoy a beautiful day here in East Tennessee because there's nothing quite like spring in the mountains in East Tennessee to just make you make you a very very uh, happy individual so hey how about you not kick the back of my seat like that little man hey hey hey, hey. hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I just I'll tell you okay <laughs> There's a big one with that one. Yeah, yeah, that big one you saw was the one with this one. Yeah. Yeah. I just I had a nice one on on the tip here. The best oh, that was a big one. Off that. <laughs> I was watching your fight. Thank you. There he is. Nah. Uh, I'm a little bit in food at the moment there. You're good. Halfway through a leader knot, it stops for nothing. Uh. Exactly. I could not do two things at once, especially when it comes to leader knot. There you go. A little chunk of lingus. <laughs> Too fast. Buddy. Dude, we caught a lot of fish today. Yeah, we did. We did really well, honestly. A lot, a lot of fish. Today. Many fish. We had a pretty good limit of 10 pounds or so. We did catch the biggest fish today. We had our chances, though. Yeah. Alex almost had some chances on God bait. I wasn't even going to give him any crap. I wasn't. I wasn't even going to be the guy. 
I've given it to you all day, but here's yeah. the thing. You had a shot on those swim baits. Yeah. Just didn't happen. Like those fish hit it, they just don't get the hook sometimes. I wasn't gonna give you crap this time, but I mean you didn't really get a chance even, so. Well hey, listen. I'll see you, buddy. See you. I'll see you. you. They you won't see this face until June unless it's a live stream. And you'll see this face again. Yeah, this is like another right there. I just want to say bye and I love you. Love you too. And I'll see you guys when we get back to the house. And I love you guys too. Bye. All right, boys and girls, here we are back in the beer barn, back at the house. This is a few days after the video that you guys just watched, but I thought I'd take some time, break it down, show you guys what I was throwing, what we were focusing on, and kind of how we put the fish into the boat that we did. Now, had a ton of fun. I'm gonna have two links down below. One will be to Caleb's channel and the other one will be to Ben's channel. Go subscribe to both of their channels. Caleb, absolute stick, one of my best friends in the whole entire world. And then Mr. Ben Nowak, you guys know him. He's on the podcast all the time. My best friend in the whole entire world. And it was really awesome to see him. It had been about six months since I'd seen Ben in person. So it was good to see him, good to hang out in the boat with him and to go catch some fish. But what were we doing? Um, so the big thing that we were doing, we were on a Highland Reservoir, a mountain lake. And so this lake is very high in elevation. It's usually a few degrees colder than all the other lakes around us. And it's just a little bit more delayed than all the other lakes around us. And so we were focusing on a lot of pre-spawn and spawning fish. And early in the morning, we kind of were looking for that glide bait deal. On that lake, there are a lot of fish that like to eat big baits. You can go throw the big glide bait and you can put some giant fish in the boat. And I had an opportunity at three separate giant fish and missed all three opportunities. The first one just didn't eat it. The second one tried to eat it and I swing too early. And the third one was my fault totally. I wasn't paying attention. I actually watching a uh, fish that was following Ben's bait and had the one come up and eat it. And I didn't even see him with my eyes. Hopefully the footage shows it that that fish tried to come up and, and eat that glide bait. But after a while, the glide bait thing just kind of started to die down. I ended up catching that one little one that you guys saw on it and then just didn't really throw it the rest of the day because we figured out the whole floating worm deal. And that's kind of how we put almost all the fish in the boat that we did. And that was on an old Zoom floating worm. And for you guys that have never done this technique, never seen this technique, this is old school as it gets right here. This is something that my dad showed me um, that my dad and my uncle won tournaments doing. It's something that is just kind of an old school technique and that is throwing a really, really bright color worm. This is a Zoom trick worm in methylate and we threw methylate and pink all day long and put a ton of fish into the boat with it. And it's just such a fun technique because it's so visual. I mean, it's kind of like frog fishing or top water fishing or bed fishing. You know, you get to see the fish eat it. And so it's just such a super fun technique to go and do. And for you guys that don't know how this works, you watch the video obviously, but essentially what you do is you throw this worm up into areas where those fish are wanting to spawn. And that's kind of what we were focusing on. We were focusing on the very, very backs of pockets and or transitional banks into the backs of pockets where those fish were moving up there super shallow, trying to make beds, getting ready to do their thing. And we were essentially intercepting them with this floating worm. And what you do is you throw it up there you let it sink out of sight and then you twitch it a couple times and you let it sink out of sight and you twitch it a couple times and sometimes they'll eat it on the twitch sometimes they'll eat it on the sink and sometimes if you're really really lucky they'll come up behind this thing and suck it in and you'll get to visually watch them eat it which is super super fun but just a stupid fun technique to go and do super fun to go and put a lot of fish into the boat into the bank into the kayak it's a great tool that is super simple so like if you got somebody that's not very good at fishing or you're taking somebody that's new to fishing or even if you're just looking to go get a ton of bites and do something simple this is a super simple way to go catch them now this little hook we were using was interesting and i'll make sure and link all of this down below using tackle warehouse affiliate links is a little one aught gamagatsu g finesse straight shank hook and caleb actually turned us on to this thing and i'd never used one on a floating worm i usually just use like a little two aught or three aught ewg or even straight shank worm hook and this little hook was really, really cool because it had that straight shank keeper on the back, which helped to keep that worm up on there. And then when those fish would eat it, it allowed that worm to go up the line really, really quickly and just get out of the way and not impinge on hooking the fish at all. And then, like I said, a pink or methylate zoom trick worm, eight pound fluorocarbon, which you could probably bump up to 10 or 12 if you wanted to, just to be a little bit more safe. This is just what I had rigged up. And so it's what I used. 20 pound mainline braid. And then my Luz KVD 200 size spinner reel seven foot medium fast action 
loose spinning rod and i mean like i say super simple super easy to go catch fish on and really the biggest thing is just to find the backs of those pockets focus on those areas where those fish are going to be moving up and that they're going to spawn and you would be amazed how many fish you can put into the boat with that little worm right there and like you saw with ben's fish um, you can put some really big fish in the boat. And that's kind of what we were focused on. You know, we were looking for those bigger than average fish, ended up just catching a bunch of males. But it's one of those things that any day now, especially when the moon gets right, when we start rolling into a full moon, you could probably go back up there and instead of catching two and three pound males, you catch four and five and six pound females. So super fun. I had a ton of fun. Hopefully you guys had a ton of fun watching it because it was just a fun video to make. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. Questions or comments, you know where to go leave them. Go down in the uh, comment section. If you got any questions about any of the gear, also go down in the description. I'll have everything linked. Also go subscribe to Ben and Caleb's channel. And as always, you guys are sweet. And thank you for watching.